how's it going so welcome back today we're going to do we're going to continue from question four so question four it's it's on substitution okay so we're supposed to substitute these values and find the equivalent okay so whenever you're substituting our uh, best advice is always use always use brackets even when it's obvious it's just good practice okay so for example l when i'm substituting l i'll put brackets i'll put negative three here and when i'm substituting m i'll put whatever and then year plus then i'll put n again so it's negative one like this okay so it helps me not get the the signs mixed up so here negative three times times two so you first do multiplication obviously bomb dust or board mass uh, then here you get negative negative six like this then on this part you actually get plus so in minus you get minus so minus one like this then you get negative seven okay so that's just about it and on this one you asked you find the square root of l squared minus m squared minus n squared okay so again you you do substitution by using brackets okay so uh, l is equal to negative three i'm going to put negative three squared minus m m is equal to two i'm going to put two squared then uh, n n is equal to what minus one i'm going to put squared again so here what you discover is you get nine here then plus four plus one so nine plus four uh you get 13 okay so nine plus four you get 13 and uh uh here it's supposed to be minus sorry so here it's supposed to be minus here it's supposed to be minus okay so here you get nine here you get a uh, four and then the minus they they remain okay you're just simplifying whatever is in the brackets so here you actually get uh, square root of nine minus four then you get five then minus one then you get four so square root of four is equal to plus or minus two okay you can also just write two if you have only one mark here uh, that's one way to go about it okay so another thing is this is this was paper one so if they ask the if you got maybe maybe i made a mistake okay then i add i, I put plus here then i get 13 plus one i get 14 so i'd actually get square root of 14. this one uh it's not a, a perfect a perfect number okay so it's not a um it's not a rational number if it's not a rational number usually they will tell you i uh, write your answer in the form a square root of b like this okay so this this is just one 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 clue so if they didn't tell us this that uh, simply means that the answer that we have to get here it will actually be exact and it, indeed it was exact okay we actually got plus or minus or minus two so this was this was good let's move on to question five question five asks us to uh, find the square of square root of three so square of square root of three so you can say it's square root of three squared like this so whenever you square this one goes away so you actually get three Another way to understand it is square root of 3 simply means 3 to the power or half. Okay. So if you want to square this, this means that uh, you have to square this. And if you you have two powers, yeah, they have to multiply. Okay. So it means half times times 3, then you get 3 to the power, 3 to the power, which is simply equal to, equal to 3. So this is another way to work out the same problem. And uh, on the B part now, we have... Uh, 0 0.3 to the power one third times 0 0.3 to the power one third times 0 0.3 to the power one third like this so the base is the same the base is 0 point 0 point, uh, point 0.3 so you actually put that that base here and if you're multiplying you just have to add the the powers okay so i'm going to add this one and this one and this one uh, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3, then get 3 over 3. So you actually get 0 0.3 to the power 1, which is simply equal to 0 0.3. Okay, so this one was pretty easy to score on. I think we can do another question. So let's go ahead uh, and solve this simultaneous equation. So uh, here you are given it like this, and then you're told y is equal to this. So if you are given one of the letters so one of the variables so for example y here it's given as this that means that the substitution method can be quite easy i can just go ahead and substitute y but whenever you work out simultaneous equations almost always the elimination the method of elimination it's it's faster so i'm going to work this out using the method of substitution okay so you have x plus 2y equal to zero i'm going to substitute on on y so 2 then y equal to 3 minus 2x like this equal to zero 
So I can say here, I can put, I can even put because y equal to three minus minus two x. Okay, so you're telling them that you're substituting this from, from this. If you don't want, you can still leave it. They will know. So you get x plus plus uh, six, then minus four x like this. Okay, then equal to, equal to uh, zero. Okay, so you get, uh, uh, here you can put these ones to the other side. So you get six equal to, then this one becomes four x minus x. If you want, you can also write 4x minus x is still fine. Uh, so you get 3x here, and then 3x equal to 6. Then you divide both sides by, by 3, then you get x equal to 2 like this. Okay, so if it's simultaneous equations, then you actually have to find the value of y as well. So you can say from y equal to 3 minus 2x like this. Uh, you get 3 minus 2 by 2. So you get uh, 3 minus Four, which is equal to minus one, like this, okay? So you say, therefore, x equal to two, y equal to minus one. So this is what we get. If you're going with the method of uh, elimination, this is what you would uh, you'd have to do. You'd have to uh, make sure that the arrangement is in corresponding, uh, is according to the corresponding terms. So that means you have to flush this one to the other side. So this one becomes two x. Then you already have plus y here. Then it's equal to what? It's equal to uh, 2x plus y here, it's equal to 3, like this. So you have to match either this one or this one. So the easier one to match would be either, because you can just multiply either by 2 and then that will be it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this one by 2. So it means the whole thing. So you show that it's the whole thing by, by putting these square brackets here. So you actually get 2x plus 4y equal to 0 like this, then here you get 2x plus y equal to equal to 3. Okay, so this one doesn't change. So here, uh, in order for us to simplify, we have to uh, figure out, do we have to subtract or we have to add? So we're going to eliminate x here. These two, they're positive. So in order to remove, you have to, you have to subtract. So one, one general guideline is if the signs, they're the same, subtract. So if it's negative and negative, subtract. If they are different, then just simply add, okay? So sometimes you can eliminate y, but the way it doesn't have to be x always. So here you get zero, so I'm not going to write uh, the zero here. Here you get uh, 3y equal to, here you get negative three. So you actually get y equal to negative one like this, okay? Then you want to find x, so you can say from x plus 2y equal to zero. So you get x plus two times negative one equal to, zero like this so x is equal to two okay then you can conclude therefore x equal to two y equal to negative one like this okay so this is just about it this is how you'd uh, you'd work it out uh the other method is uh using uh, the method of of um uh, matrices okay you can work out the uh, by by using matrices and uh the other one was is graphical functions so if you're using matrices uh what you do you have done I'm actually hesitant a little bit because um, I don't want you to learn the matrix method that much. It's rarely tested, okay? So that's an, another challenge. But then if you're using the matrix method, you have to write this as a matrix. So um, the way that you do it is you take the coefficients, sorry. So you actually take the coefficients, the coefficients would be one, two, then two, then one here. Okay, like this. And you say x, y, then equal to, 0, 3, like this. So you have to determine the determinant for this one. So determinant equal to 1 times 1, then you get 1, minus, minus is permanent, okay? Then 2 times r uh, times 2 here, you get 4. Then you actually get uh, negative 3 here. So you say uh, the inverse would be uh, negative, you say the inverse would be negative 1 over we need it to be one over determinant, okay? So already determinant is negative three. So one over negative three, it's equal to negative one third like this. And what you do is you rearrange these ones. So this one, they switch. So when they switch, you get one, one here. This one, you have to multiply them by negative. So you get negative two, negative two here, okay? This one would be your, your inverse. So you actually have to put everything here. So we are, are pre-multiplying by the inverse and we're doing this for, for both sides. So as you go to, you're going to repeat again, negative one third like this, then 
one, negative two, negative two, one like this. Okay, so zero, three. So here, what you do is, uh, uh, for the left hand side, you just know that you get a singular, singular matrix. If you get um, an uh, identity matrix, you get uh, the matrix that, that's equal to, it's equal to one. So in matrices, so you get this one, this much. And for this one now, you actually have to simplify. So what I advise you to do is just don't simplify this one. Simplify the, the rest of the, of the items here. So here you get one times zero. So if you want, you can, you can also write one times zero, but then you already have brackets here, so it can be messy. So one times zero. Okay, let me, let me actually just write it, okay. Then plus, then here minus two times three, okay. So here it'd be negative two times zero then plus one by three like this, okay. Then you, here, uh, you do row by column again, you actually get um, x, y, okay. So one by x, then you get x plus zero. Here, zero plus plus y, so that's why you, uh, you, get, you get this one here. Okay, so you get negative one third. Then here you get negative six, okay. So this one, it's um, uh, negative, negative six. Then this one, it's uh, simply you get you get three. Okay. So our x is equal to so x is equal to negative one third multiplied by negative six like this, and uh, our, this one it's equal to to two. Okay. Then our y is equal to uh, here it's equal to negative one. Okay. So negative one like this. So this is how you do it uh, using the, the matrix method. And another thing about simultaneous equations is uh, you can actually prove your answer. So x equal to two, y equal to negative, negative one, okay? So x equal to two, y equal to negative one. So x equal to two and y equal to negative one. You can test this after you're you are done with your exam, okay? You're just revising. So you can put on x, you can put two. On y, you can put negative one and then see if it comes zero. Okay, so it does come zero because two minus two is equal to is equal to zero for real for real. Okay, so this one for this one let's see y is negative one. So let's see if we can get negative one from three minus minus two x is equal to three minus two. Our x is what is our two. So it'd be three minus four, which is equal to negative one, just as we expected here. Okay, so this is how you verify. But don't verify immediately after writing the question, okay? So you can uh, verify later if you create some time. So that's just about it for uh, this uh, question. So in the next video, we'll continue from our question seven. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Yiba out. Mm -hmm.